Hey guys, Toby here from Alpha Fitness. Oh. All right, so today we're gonna go through uh, one of my leg workouts. I'm gonna give you some good information about how to grow more muscle. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, workout tutorial and the little edit I made at the start. Enjoy. Alright guys, welcome to the voiceover. Alright, so today we're going through a legs workout. Hypertrophy workout, roughly uh, 8 to 12 reps, 3 sets on each exercise. So the main focus is to hit the quads, the hamstrings, the calf muscles, and working on some muscle imbalances in my back by doing uh, lateral leg raises with a 10 kilo weight on either side. All right, so what we're up here, first exercise is uh, low bar back squats. We've got two 20 kilo plates on either side plus a bar. Makes 100 kilograms. So I'm just doing low bar back squats to a box squat stance. So with the uh, box squat, as you can see here, just going to par parallel, you do not have to go any lower to elicit growth in your quads and hamstrings. That's the main focus of squatting is to obviously create muscle growth in that in those said areas. So personally, I only squat to parallel because I get an anterior pelvic tilt in my uh, pelvis, which puts lower uh, pressures on uh, my lower back area. My specifically around my lumbar spine, which I like to avoid. So I don't squat arse grass anymore, only the box squats. You can squat arse grass, no problem with it, as long as you don't get any pain. So just stick to what you're comfortable with, and box squats as well, what I am comfortable with currently at this point in time. So I did three sets of squats there, and then uh, moving on to the stiff-legged deadlift. So that was my last set that was filmed there. As you can see, I've dropped the weight, go straight into stiff-legged deadlifts. I'm doing this for three sets, roughly eight to 12 reps. Uh, mainly aiming for around eight reps, and if it was a little bit lighter, if I got at 12 reps, I would put maybe an extra five, 10 kilos on the bar. So I'm shooting for the low end of that hypertrophy rep range. All right, so stiff legged deadlift here. The main focus of this exercise is to stretch my hamstrings out, going all the way down as far as I can where I'm comfortable, and then coming up quicker. Obviously, I could go all the way to the ground, but I would be overcompensating with uh, arching my back. So I'm really just keeping my form strict, my back nice and straight, and keeping the focus on the time and tension, going down slow, stretching my hamstrings as far as I can go comfortably, and then snapping up really quick. So down slow on the eccentric portion and up quick on the concentric for eight to 12 reps. The main focus of this isn't a deadlift to strengthen the overall body, it's to really just hit the hamstrings. Uh, you can have your knees bent, that is can be a more comfortable deadlift. I, just, I find it very hard to do it with knees locked out, so um, you get a lot of, you get a lot more muscle recruitment when you do break the knees and focus on going down very slowly and, and actually using your hamstrings for the contraction. All right, so moving on to the front squats. So I only did two sets of front squats just to get in that extra added volume on uh, my squats, obviously, because I only did three sets of squats and I'm only doing legs twice a week currently in the moment. So I'm trying to focus on anywhere from four to five working sets per muscle group per workout. So roughly 10 to 12 sets each, each week focusing on squats specifically for my legs and I'm just working on keeping my overall uh, functionality as you can see I've got my elbows up and all my fingers underneath the bar so that's what I'm really just focusing on there so high volume reps so 80 kilos for uh, 8 to 12 reps so moving on to rack pulls so generally when I do currently I'm doing upper body lower body split I find that I cannot get rack pulls in sufficiently enough to grow my traps when I'm doing like pull-ups, uh, bench press, rows and that kind of stuff. So I do it on the off day as my shoulders are still fresh. I'm not currently overloading. I'm just focusing on a complex here, which is basically just half a power clean with 80 kilos just to get in extra volume and grow my traps because that's one of my weaker points in my physique. 
So now moving on to machine work, so leg extension. So you do the hardest exercise first, which is generally squats and deadlifts. So, and then I finish off machine. So always superset leg extensions and then leg curls. Um, I find that they're very easy to do back to back and makes your workout quicker. So on this, um, I was just scaling the weight to find something comfortable. So I did I got close up to 20 reps, just again, heat small volume. As my knees were quite sore and I couldn't actually lift as heavy as I normally would because I went for a, a 20 minute run before before I actually did legs. I generally don't condone doing doing lots of cardio before your workout as it inhibits how much you can lift and then that can inhibit your volume which affects how much muscle you can grow. So here we go. Because I find that calf raises aren't very taxing and you have to do such high volume in them, you can generally uh, superset them with something else. So supersetting calf raises, I think I did 20 to 30 reps. So really focused on hitting that slow twitch muscle fibers, lifting relatively heavy and going to a complete failure. And then I did uh, lateral leg raises for about 15 reps just to strengthen um, my hip extensors and hip flexors. So I did three sets of this, generally in my workout, so 45 minutes to an hour for legs, but it was pretty quick. Generally I do five sets, just because I need that extra volume because my calf muscles are lagging muscle groups, as you can see, my legs just look like sticks. So obviously if you wanna grow more muscle, you have to do more more reps or more, more uh, sets. So you have to, or even add a little bit of weight, you just have to slowly increase as you go. That's how you get stronger and gain more muscle, progressive overload, that's basically the best principle that I can give you to grow more muscle. Progressive overload, add a little bit more weight, do a little bit more on a consistent basis and make sure you have rest days. So with the lateral leg raises, make sure they're nice and strict, probably not as quick as I'm doing them there. So that 10 kilo weight is like an, a little bit of an added weight to really just apply that progressive overload. Otherwise I'd have to do like 30 or 40 reps to get the same stimulus.